we're not trying to persuade anybody to change. We're just here to understand. Rather than religious dialogue that often pretends to be innocent of any persuasion, we, social psychologically speaking, called it diplomacy, which acknowledges our desire to at least impress other people that we like them, at least impress them that, that we're intelligent people or that our religion is not all bad or that theirs isn't either. In other words, we want something more than understanding. We want to change attitudes and opinions. That's what diplomacy is. It, it owns the fact that we want to create change in all our relationships. Can we still have a conversation? Can we still desire to make each other part of each other's lives as a trustworthy rival, someone who is both critical and appreciative, sustain peaceful tension between rivals who will remain rivals because in their integrity, they can do no other. We like to call it a collaborative contestation where they engage their differences and try honestly to persuade each other to see things differently. Right. We like to say that the, the goal of diplomacy is not tranquil peace, it's peaceful tension. It will actually enhance your truth by giving you deeper perspectives, seeking the whole truth together. The foundation of religious diplomacy is based on a sustaining of continual missionary to missionary contestation where you try to persuade the other to see the higher truth that really matters more than any human uh, difficulty. So when I say the more beautiful world our hearts know as possible, is there, is there some vision or some idea that comes to mind for you that, that reflects that? Or is that something that, that's too idealistic or off the table? Within the Latter-day Saint um, religion, um, there is a notion, I'm going to use this word carefully, and I hope to, <laughs> your listeners will understand that I'm using a word that is loaded politically in the world today. But within the Latter-day Saint tribe, it has a very different meaning than the one I'm about to use, and it's called Zion. The Latter-day Saint idea using biblical texts was that God um, actually wants this world here and now before heaven to be a Zion where people can thrive together who have differences, right? And Joseph Smith, who was the original uh, Latter-day Saint prophet, made he said that the, that the idea of zion should be our central goal in all we do and so in answering your question uh, my latter-day saint point of view of of an ideal world is one where the best of all ideologies and i'll, and I'll put out there the best of doubters, <laughs> the best of the atheists, the best of everybody, whatever the, the goods are that come out of your worldview, the best of that would be brought into Zion mm -hmm. and would be digested, not vomited, but somehow digested usefully by all the tribes, not, not homogenized into a single reality but everyone would feed off of everyone else's highest and best stuff. Mm -hmm.